Hi everyone, um, it's been a week and then this is going to be my third demo to show you where the development is at about uh, my org transclusion. So uh, here's the agenda. Uh, firstly, I just wanted to show you uh, the additional feature. Uh, transclusion now supports um, headline and also paragraph based on um, what uh, org, uh, sorry, org mode calls um, dedicated target. And the second uh, additional feature I added is uh, now Transclusion supports org, org mode standard file link. Um, it's only now a heading based on this sort of uh, the asterisk or star, this, uh, this, this format, but um, I just added this now. And based on uh, additional features, number one and number two, um, I have kind of realized there's there's a new sort of set of issues that arise. Um, so I just wanted to touch on those. And then lastly, just want to touch on also um, the additional stuff. No, no, sorry, not, not additional stuff, but um, you know, the, the usual stuff that we now have GitHub repo. And also there's a discussion um, you can post questions or um, post uh, your opinions about how things are going or where should it go. And uh, there's a discussion in all grown discourse at this link. So, uh, without further ado, let me uh, start showing the additional stuff. So, number one, now um, it's about uh, heading and also paragraph. So, it's kind of like it's, it, I, in, the, in my last video, I said that uh, I changed internal workings and now it would be easy to add new um, functions to support different types of uh, link. Um, so that's the kind of outcome of, uh, of, of that. And then I'm going to just kind of show you. So, uh, so these are the two links and then let me just show you the actual link itself. Uh, just toggle the org. Um, Link display so that you can see what's inside. So this is OTC, add it to you know, um, the usual file, and then you know, the double uh, columns, and then followed by star or asterisk that indicates the um, heading, right? So this heading, let me just to remove OTC first so that you can see it, and then the file. Uh, we're talking to or talking about sorry and then linking to is on the right hand side here so this first link i'm just going to click on it so that you can see it jumps onto this um, heading here right so this is how org mode uh, standard link type works yeah so if you then add rtc colon and that becomes um transclusion the second thing is it's kind of nice um again this is a sort of standard way of linking to uh, dedicated target and dedicated target if you just click on it you just saw that now it's kind of linked to this right so the whole paragraph um, um, designated by uh, pag1 this is the paragraph id and then there's there's nothing automatic about it i just manually put parag1 in it so you can you can put anything you want and then uh, there's a, sorry, the de dedicated target is designated by the double, um, what you call this, you know, the brackets here. And you can kind of see what, I don't know what, what you call them anyway, but, you know, you see that, right? And then you can do this, and then um, uh, if you add it or to C, then this becomes transclusion link. Um, and, and additionally, what I've also added is, you know, um, I'm going to just toggle this back to just show the text. So you could also do this, right, in a normal situation where uh, you type some sentence and in the middle of the sentence, a paragraph, you want to link out to uh, different places and then you might want to do this. But in this case, I specifically excluded uh, these links in the middle of the sentence. So there's a now check that the links or for transclusion needs to be, needs to be, um, at the beginning of a, of a line, yeah. So you can see that the last, so the third um, paragraph, sorry, the last link is excluded from transclusion when I activate it. Um, yeah. So that's 
that and if I then I'm going to just toggle the uh, display on you can see this right if I can just from now let's do this right let me just cut this out save um, yeah so with this um, if I then activate um, transclusion you will see what will happen boom sorry yeah so uh, the first link transcludes the whole um, section via the um, this link so the, the, the whole uh, heading and then this level uh, so the sub subtree uh, is included and then uh, this obviously includes the paragraph uh, linked by the second link but you know so what you can do then is um, but yeah what you could do I mean this is not necessarily the design itself but you can include the same section or element in the uh, two different or multiple different uh, regions of multiple different transclusions like this that would happen and I'll see it later so this is one of the sort of I guess issues that I need to think through not necessarily a technical problem but I need, I need to think it through how this behaves but uh, you know by this way and then I sort of you know I just wanted to show you just because I can uh, I'm native uh, user of Japanese language so you can kind of see that you know just um, you, you, know, just, you can do different languages and then if you see this double byte languages right working um, you know you can kind of be assured that um, double byte languages uh, like Koreans and Chinese would work in the same way. Uh, the, the only language category of language I couldn't really use is the languages like Arabic or Hebrew where you know the, the sequence is from right to left but it, this is something I cannot test but uh, because you know all of this is based on um, Emacs um, I, I just to trust that uh, it would work a similar way but if there's any issue may, maybe there's something we can do together to rectify those issues for right to left languages but that's not necessarily my my target language anyway but that, that's that's what's happening at the moment right and um, so yeah um, I can add, you know so it just works in the same way as previously so, just wanted to show you, um, let me just take a deactivate. Um, now, the OTC uh, custom link types supports uh, the heading via this sort of uh, the double comma, so double columns plus asterisk to designate, you know, uh, the heading. And also, it would also work for paragraphs, specific paragraphs via dedicated target. Uh, so that's number one. Number two is there has been some uh, comments and feedback saying that maybe I should add uh, transclusion to the standard org mode link. So I played with that idea. Thank you for your suggestions. And then it seems to work. Um, so what I have done is uh, at the moment, it's only the headline heading headline sorry I should probably say headline um, but in this case you don't need to say this is OTC um, it just works so if I activate the transclusion then this here that this link also um, works so uh, this one okay I probably should have shown you where this link to so this one links to the headline org mode standard headline so if I click on this uh, when uh, transclusion is deactivated uh, it would just normal uh, behave like a normal org link so it's just that yeah it's here uh, the, the nice thing about this is just, let, let me remove this but um, uh, yeah it's just a normal um, org mode link so if I do org store link for this as an example Right, and then come over here and then, um, put it in. It just works, yeah. So it just nicely integrates with the standard uh, user experience or the the, the way Orgrom works, and we can add to it. And then, then if I activate um, transclusion, it just does that, yeah. Um, 
same restriction now applies. So if I uh, had this link in the middle of a sentence, there's a check so it doesn't do it. Yeah. So if it needs to be the, the transclusion link needs to be in the, in, the, in, the, in the beginning of the line to be able to uh, transclude the content like this. Yeah, so that, that's good. Uh, one issue with the, the standard org link is that now if I wanted to detach this section, detach, it just doesn't seem to work. I mean, it kind of worked, yeah. The problem is, uh, what happens is that uh, it detaches and then put the link back on, but because the transclusion is active, it immediately adds back the transclusion in. So for you, it looks like uh, the transclusion duplicated the um, uh, section you transcluded before. Um, so. Yeah, I, I probably need to work on um, how the attach should work, and then I need to spend some time thinking through how it works. Yeah, so that that's currently the issue, but I'm aware of it. So that's the uh, function number two, and with all all these two, what I have done with the internal workings improvement is that now um, you can use these two different variables. At the moment, these are two variables, but they will become, I think, uh, um, custom variables to, to uh, uh, specify which types of um, link types you want to use for transclusion. So if I, you know, remove this from this, I kind of didn't rehearse this, but I'm just going to do it and then make it nil. Yeah, so now this shouldn't work, and then if I click on it here, yeah, it would go back to this link. Yeah, that's that's the standard behavior. If I activate it, yeah, it doesn't work, even if um, um, it's in the, the beginning of the sentence because you now now I have excluded this big type exclusively from you know from the uh, supported transclusion, it doesn't work. So um, I have two separate variables. One is for a standard org link, and then this one over here is for the custom OTC links, but you can kind of play with it. So this way, um, you know, you, you can have a more flexibility which types you want to support for transclusion. And, uh, you know, when we have more links supported, then you can customize which one you want to plan, you want to use or you know, not use. So this is good. So that's that. Um, yeah. Right. Um, so I have already touched on the issue here. Uh, now that you can have multiple sort of different types of uh, the transclusions, the, the issue is, um, as you can see, uh, this one, including the whole section, also includes the paragraph here, you know, completely subsumed by uh, the other transclusion. So that means this um, paragraph here, uh, quoting this sort of uh, book sentence or whatever, um, is, is, is transcluded twice in a separate uh, regions, yeah. What, so what then you kind of expect is if I change anything here like this, yeah, you would expect this updates the original quote and also then updates the um, the the other transclusion at the same time. This doesn't happen, as you can see, not real time. And what you have just saw is that if I save this, then save takes back and then sort of, you know, it kind of synchronize it. Um, everything is hunky-dory, not, not a problem, but uh, from a user experience perspective, I don't know if this is the best way. I think what's happening is that uh, transclusion works from top to bottom. And then uh, the, the, the first transclusion works first, and then 
and the, you know, the transclusion logic then adds the paragraph on top of this one. So I believe this uh, transclusion uh, added later uh, is more priority than the previous one. That's my thinking at the moment. So if, you know, oh, yeah, well, maybe that logic does not necessarily hold for 100%, but um, yeah, um, it, it's not bad but it's not necessarily the most intuitive way. So I need to think it through. So anyway, um, that's how it is at the moment. And I'm going to uh, merge the um, PR as soon as I finish this recording, and then you will uh, see the latest merged in the main branch of uh, the repo. Um, yeah, so by the time you see this uh, video uploaded, I think you see the latest in the main. Anyway, so that's what I've done. Um, yeah, number one, support a uh, head headline and also paragraph, ded dedicated target. And um, you need to use OTC, uh, custom link. And then the second thing I added is the standard org mode link is supported. For this one, you need to use, uh, sorry, I only supported the headline at the moment, but um, and then you can also see the variables, uh, these variables, you can customize whether you want to use those or not. And then you, oh, I talked about the issue about over, overlapping transclusion areas. Yeah, um, so that's that. And then if, you, if you're interested in uh, looking at the code, come to, come to the um, GitHub repo and you look at the code or give me a comment, give me issues, something like this, yeah. And then if you want to discuss uh, features, functions, um, or ideas or you know some, some sort of uh, uh, constructive critique uh, I, I will be in Orgrom discourse very often so uh, you can post your questions and stuff like that in, in this discourse so with that uh, thank you for your attention and um, I think I'm going to be spending a little bit more time this time to think through um, the design I think the ingredients are now sort of in front of me and then, um, you know, I, I can now see uh, issues and things that I could not see beforehand. So I think I need to spend a little bit more than a week uh, to think through how the design should be. And then hopefully I can come back uh, soon enough uh, uh, to show what I will have done by then. Yeah. So see you back in demo number four. But um, yeah, and probably not in a week time. But anyway. Thank you for your attention and then uh, have a good, great week and uh, see you later. Bye.